Connor, thanks very much for coming in to talk to us. Um, just for the listener to know, I know your name. Mm-hmm. I know that you're in a relationship. Um, I know that you're a client to Prosperous and you're happy for to share that with us, but I didn't deal with you on your journey with Prosperous. And I know that you're glad to be here. You're happy to come in here and talk to me and talk to the listeners today. What we're talking about today, but sorry, other than that, I don't know your backstory. And that's important for everybody. Yeah. I'm here for the first time the same way everyone else is. What I want to talk to you about today is couples and how couples manage money mm-hmm. and the interaction between a couple when it comes to managing money. Tell me, first of all, I know your wife isn't here. Wife, yeah. Yep. Your wife isn't here. Um, but she's okay with this and we're going to talk about it. And I will try and be the voice of reason. I will try and be your wife's voice, even though I haven't been here. So I might challenge on some stuff. But tell me this. How long are you together, first of all? Uh, more than half my life. Gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we met when we were 16. Okay. Uh, so we've been together that whole time. Uh, okay. So 34 now, so 17 years. 17 uh, years mar- Married since 2017. Kids? Uh, two kids now, yeah, yeah. Okay. And tell me about, so you must have been in secondary school when you met first. And that actually is an interesting one from a couple's perspective, yeah. because that means that as education and careers and everything kept going, you did that financial journey together as yeah. well as the life journey. Yeah, correct. So tell yeah. me from an early stage, what was it like with money, like the very start, and we don't need to go into it, it's a long time ago now, right? But the very start, were you the chivalrous one and paid for everything? Yeah, uh, probably, probably not. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I was I was the kind of, kind of guy that cycled everywhere. Uh, so I didn't, didn't really get the bus <laughs> all that much. <laughs> uh, so, um yeah, like, you know, uh, activities wise, it was all kind of, you know, uh, walkable with distance. Free uh, stuff is what you're telling Free me. stuff, yeah. Okay. On the cheap. But, uh, <laughs> it, you know, uh, yeah, so we'd we, we spend our time still, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. And then did you go to college? We went to college, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we both ended up studying engineering. Oh, both um, of you did engineering at the same time. Engineering at the same time, yeah, different disciplines. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so so we had we had we had that uh, that lifestyle, those costs. And um, during college, there's big night outs, and there's di- were you in the same college, were you doing the same discipline in the same college? In the same discipline for say the, the first year, but then we kind of uh, spread into our own our own fields. Yeah, in, but in, in the same college, in the same college. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we both ended up then after that doing PhDs. Okay. Um, so she was a year ahead of me. The way the way it worked out, I was on a, a different course, a, a three and two, uh, where she was straight into PhD under the undergrad. Um, and that came with a, an eighteen thousand euro stipend. So from from then, so just we, we, sorry, hold on. So you're you're doing your PhD, and you each get eighteen thousand euros. Yeah. So here you are, out of college. Sorry, out of ordinary college, and gone on to do the bigger stuff, yep. right? And you're both getting paid eighteen grand a year. Are you renting? We're renting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was maybe six months into my PhD, and a year and a half into hers that we ended up moving in together. Uh, she'd moved out. Uh, prior to that so she knew what it was all about um, so and how did that work then you're both on the same salary you're both renting the same place together is it yeah. just split 50-50 yeah exactly well it was really easy to make that decision because we were both making the same thing, uh, amount so it was you know split down the middle we had 500 euro towards uh, a saving goal um, 500, 600 euro Euro odd toward rent, and then four hundred people are going to be listening. They're doing a PhD, euro. they're renting, and they have a savings goal. Well, would you believe our like, first? It's, it's it's little house in the prairie, perfect life. Our stuff. first rental property actually was on was on Aylesbury Road. Would you believe it? <laughs> of course, it was. Yeah, it was the engineers it was, it was, from Aylesbury Road. Mad. I know. Yeah, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're you've got your money split 50-50. It's really really clear. I'm not going to ask you what salaries you're on now, mm. but let's step forward. You you've got that really good foundation, right? Yeah. You're coming from literally nothing. Yeah. You're growing up together. Yeah. You're at the same level for some time. I don't want to ask you what your salaries are on purpose. I don't want to, but are the salaries the same now? Or are they quite different? No, she has she's leaped and bounded ahead of me now. On, on that okay, yeah, so I I picked up that she was a little bit ahead on the PhD, and yeah. now she's miles ahead on salary miles as well. Ahead, yeah, yeah. Okay, astronomically. Yeah. And is it still split fifty fifty? Or how does it work? Yes. Um, so I mean, it, bills and anything that 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 are kind of combined household. There. So so the way we work now, and we've 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 gone through kind of different. You know, we had separate banks, and then I mean, the way the mortgages were being offered, we had to combine it for for you know to, to get have a, a joint account. Rate, yeah. Then that was a absolute mess because you couldn't really keep it in secret. So when it came to Christmas and that, it was like, look. You kind of know what I'm going to get you. <laughs> there it is on the statement. <laughs> Act surprised, you know. Um, so, yeah, we, we've we've settled on sort of a bills account where, okay. you know, at the start of the month, money goes into that. Uh, and that, that would include like, uh, so we, we, we've also done the analysis on sort of, you know, what, what that bills amount to. So like, you know, 
typically looking back on services for the car or ESP bills or phone bills, you know, the, the fixed amounts that we know are coming, they go into an account and the direct debits come out of that one account. Okay. Um, and then we each So have, the joint bills all go in and you've made an assumption in there as well about, okay, we know the car servicing cost is this last yeah. year, so we need to allow for that this exactly, year. Exactly, yeah. So, and, so, so that, that balance would sort of, you know, wane, you know, really high or really low, but yeah. it, it generally works. Um, okay, and then you have separate accounts. And then, I mean, the wages go into separate accounts, yeah. yeah. And, and so your wages go into your own account, her yeah. wages go into her account, and then you put a set amount, 50-50, into the middle? Uh, it's the bill split down the middle, yeah. So, okay, it's so, the bill split down the middle. So if she has more money to spend on what she spends it on, then that, that's fine oh. by me, it's her money, yeah. Okay, so we've established that she's the salary boss, right? Yeah. Well, who, who's well, the household finances boss? Or I'd is it very split? Joint, joint, uh, like, uh, I suppose, responsibility taken on that front. So, um, so would you sit down and say, right, this is what we spent last year on servicing the car, so this is what we need to allow? Or would one of you do the numbers and sit down afterwards and say, look, does this look right to um, you? If, if, if she gets to it ahead of me, I'd be checking her numbers, put it that okay. way. You know, like uh, two, two analytical analytical minds going at that, uh, you know. Um, but um, I mean, even even, even before we, we, we got seriously earning, you know, in, in the early life when, when we were set about saving, um, we were looking at sort of where's our money going and, and what could we do in, in mm. terms of increasing that savings. But the best thing we did was actually to, to print out um, our financial statement from the bank for the last year. And I had uncovered sort of, you know, ATM withdrawals that I couldn't actually account for. You know, I didn't know where that money went. So since then, since about 2015, I have not gone to the wall uh, to take out money because I just don't know where it goes. I'm really disappointed because if you said it was like 2020, March 2020 or April, I could just, I could put it down to my book, but it's nothing to do with my book. You no, just got no, there by no, yourself. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you've actually, you really have a very structured system and you're an engineer and so is she. So yeah. you'd expect that. Yeah. You must come to blows from time to time. There must be, not blows sounds like it's a fight, but there, you must hit bumps in the road and say, oh, I wasn't prepared for that. How do you manage that? Um, I suppose it's the forecasting bit where we kind of are most um, at at odds. So like we could we could work toward a holiday, say, mm. and I'd be thinking, no, we can't afford that, so don't book it. And she'd be saying, we can't afford it by the time we, we'll get to it. It's right. six months away. And I'm saying, well, we can't afford it now. Um, but we're so, not going now. Yeah, I told correct. you it was going to be her voice, right? So yeah, we're not yeah, going yeah, there. Yeah, we're not going now. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's exactly it. So, so it's that sort of time forecasting that she's really good at seeing. Um, and it kind of has me kind of, not indebted to someone, but like, you know, uh, tighter on the belt than I'd like to be. Um, and do you ever end up in a situation where one of you runs out of money in the month in your own personal account or you get hit with a big expense and you have to kind of go, oh, can I take that from the joint account or would you give me an L loan there for a while? Yeah, bail us out there. Um, yeah, I suppose it, it would come up, but yeah, there's, a, there's I suppose there's a fairness to that. You know, there's yeah. kind of a, look, I did it for this reason. Um, whatever it might be, it's like, you know. Like uh, but Ireland don't go to the Rugby World Cup all the time. Yeah, type correct. Type thing, right? that, that, that type of thing, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So when you look at it, when you think back on where you've been, you're in a situation where you've grown up together financially, grown up together in life. You have actually tried the full on joint account and for you yeah. guys, that did not work. And yeah. what you've, you've landed on is, is, I get my salary in here, you get your salary in there, we put them together, we assess together and you two seem to, I'm going to go as far as to say, you seem to get a little bit of a kick out of that in terms of the, for, she gets a yeah. kick out of the forecasting, you get a kick out of the backdated analysis mm -hmm. and coming together, bringing the two brains together, you've said, right, that's how we're going to manage our finances on a day-to-day -day basis. You've got your money, you've got, she's got her money and this works for you. Yeah, yeah. Any tips or tricks that you would say to people around, what if you, if you were talking to somebody who was completely opposite, I have my money, she has her money or he has his money, we're completely separate and this works for us. Is there any advantages that you see that they may not see with the way you're doing it? Uh, yeah, well, it goes back to that thing of or that phrase rather, um, where, you know, just because it's equal doesn't mean it's fair. Um, you know, so if, if and yeah, so within reason, you know, if that, if, if, if all of our sudden, sudden our outgoings were beyond my capability, but within our capability, then I think there'd be a little give and take in that. Um, yeah. But for the most part, you know, we're, we're both able to, to contribute to the bills and, and the outgoings we have. And so, you know. Do you think you'd be in a good position if for some reason one person decided to give up their job or for some reason somebody lost their job or mm. was taken out of their control? But if one of you weren't working, 
Do you think you have a good foundation there to be able to deal with that? Or do you think that because you have your money and she has her money and you've got your joint account, do you think that could cause problems? No, I see. Uh, there's probably benefits to, to, to one of us not working, to be honest with you, you know, in, you know, in terms of child care and, you know, one of us get all the, the tax benefits. Um, so it, it's certainly worth sitting down and having a, having a look through. But... Um, we'd probably make it work um, as we have done. <laughs> I suspect, I suspect yeah. you would, but I'm still poking the bear. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 I wouldn't think that that would be a, a big thing to overcome. Okay. Yeah. And is it easy now just to pick buy a Christmas present without her knowing what it is? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we still have budgets now, mind you, for, oh, for, for, for how much we can spend. Um, I know. i, I got to be really sorry, right? Like you're a financial planner's dream. But right? <laughs> listen to you. This is the way we do it. We analyse our past. We project the forward. We forecast the future. Yeah. But there's definitely people at home going, ah, here. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> leave yeah, it out. Enough, yeah. Do you remember that video from Tom Street? Ah, here, leave it out. Yeah. And that's what they're shouting at the thing at the moment. Yeah. But I'm going to be honest haters with you. Haters are going to hate. I'm going to be <laughs> <laughs> are going to hate and that's that's fine but what I will say is you both by communicating with each other have found a way that works for you mm. and it seems to be really working for you and therefore let the haters hate because none of them are sitting down at the kitchen table on a Tuesday evening to try and side, decide are the finances going to keep me awake tonight or yeah. not so the way you're doing it is right for you it's not right for everyone yeah. but it's right for you and I have to commend you. Like as a financial planner, there is a mutual kind of engineer financial planner. We kind of have similar analytical mm. brains and I respect what you've achieved. So thanks, thanks very much. So thanks for being willing to share it with us.